Hey everybody, Lemony Vengeance here. I don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to show off this uh, new front end for Nico's um, Taito Type X2 multi drive. This is known as the Nessica Live uh, front end, and uh, it's something that has been uh, created by. Um, and improved upon by members of the Arcade Projects Forum. So as you can see, you have a selection of games, um, and it supports all of the horizontal games that have been made available through the, uh, the multi-drive that Nico49 has created on the, on the um, Arcade Projects Forum. So it does require a little bit of setup beyond uh, going through and performing um, just imaging the drive with the base image that Nico has created. You have to do a couple of things, uh, install a couple of uh, uh, themes and whatnot, but it, it works. So as you can see, you have the ability to go through and choose different games. The video above a plays uh, allows you to see what the game type of gameplay is. So this is King of Fighters 12. So King of Fighters 13, it'll tell you the game up there. It's well as down here. So and this is King of Fighters 13 Climax. The videos are the exact same, of course, um, as you can tell. But this is um, Power Instinct 5 or Matra Melee 5. Um, Samurai Showdown. As you can see, it provides a quick video. Uh, <coughs> in all, this is a pretty slick front end. It lets you know exactly how many players there are, what type of game it is, when it was released, the version of the game, as well as the buttons that are used. Um, the buttons over here is basically uh, to, to go through game selection and uh, what not. You'll notice that there are black borders on the sides of the monitor. And I think that's a limitation with the um, the Taito Type X2 multi-drive. So basically it loads it up into a, a Windows XP embedded um, desktop that then loads this as a program for, for a front end that allows you to choose it. So when you choose a game, we'll go ahead and choose a game here. So you got Blaze Blue, Continuum Shift 2. Um, Let's go through and, and select something that I know that works. So this is Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition Export. So basically the two player version of Super Street Fighter 4. So you select it by pressing this button here. <coughs> the attract mode uh, videos are really faint so I have to turn the volume down here. All right, so it's in the process of initializing. And then it should load the game up. So as you can see now, it is full widescreen. So and this gives you the ability to go through and All right, let's feed it a credit here since it's not on free play. I turned it down too low. So, yeah, as you can see, um, unfortunately, because of the way that this is configured, um, there is no easy way to get back to the menu except by performing a reset on the Taito X2. Apparently that's something that is in the works with the multi-drive itself uh, that they're going to resolve. So maybe a button combo will get you back to the menu. But I just hit the reset button on the, on the, the JVS card, the PCI card for the, the Taito Type X2. So I'll go through the boot sequence here really quick. Standard Taito Type X2 splash screen. Now I have an SSD in this, 
and because it's an SSD, it boots up pretty quickly. Should be popping up the uh, the front end screen here in just a split second. See, attract mode. So there you go. So you'll notice there are a couple of things missing, um, and this is something I'm going to be working on personally. But you'll notice for the vanilla Street Fighter 4, the logo isn't found. Uh, I'm going to see if there's a way that we can expand this and make it a little bit easier so that people could read it. Um, and, uh, yeah. So none of these games are the Nessica Live version of the game. This is just a front end that was created uh, for attract mode so that you can select and choose the games. So don't misunderstand this. This is not like the Nessica, the default Nessica front end that has been hacked, it is not. This is just a custom front end that, that someone has created. So, I have Homura on here, but I don't see it. I don't think I fixed it on the, um, the comments. But there's uh, Senko no Ronde, uh, which is a pretty entertaining game. So, anyway... Uh, lots of stuff are happening with this. I don't have answers to all the questions, so uh, if uh, you have any questions, don't direct them to me because this is just my first interaction with it. I wanted to get this out there and advertise it. So, Thanks, everybody. Happy gaming.